I almost did not do a vlog today, but um, I'm gonna try my best. Today is kind of off. I am late for class, so I missed warm up and everything. But here we go. Let us be honest. I am hard if I be honest. She ain't control, she feel on it. If I try to calm me down, you like this, I like it, my love. I love me your love. I'm trying to show you up. You are my brother. She ain't even hate us. She ain't even hate us. Come on, girl. One more. I a man like this, you know. And I make a man see like this, you know. Say I'm fine like star boy, you know. All right, guys. So I'm not gonna lie. I almost did not post this vlog today. Um, I'm actually gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in my shower and just kind of let you guys know how I'm feeling. I'm gonna have a bubble bath at midday, and then I'm gonna post this video at like six o'clock this evening. All right. <laughs> so like I said, I'm in my shower, alright, um, I cannot dip down, but let me show you what I'm doing, um, lavender, I'm at the bottom of the bag of the Epsom salts here, I'm just gonna empty that in my tub, <laughs> and then I have my lots of soap, this is just like a convenience store, a soap, I'm just living it up today. Oh my gosh, I need to use both hands. Hold on. <laughs> and that's my bubble bath for today. Girls. Shout out to the girls who have the jets. I don't got the jets. <laughs> so I've gotta, I've gotta make my bubble girl. <laughs> Okay guys, I don't know where to look in this thing. I think it's right here. Okay, so, just got done with Samba class for the week. This week has been God awful because it was that time of the month for me and um, I was just in excruciating pain. I don't know why, I was in so much pain. It was like my sins came back to bite me. I was like, what the hell? Like, I legit could not... I mean, I still hosted my classes and everything. Like, everything was normal. It's what us fitness people do. But I was in so much pain. I wasn't able to do my summer class yesterday. Well, yesterday I was feeling a bit better. Um, because... And, and therefore, I was able to go out on the road. And I spent, like, an entire day doing um, government official stuff. So, um, what I did was I had to replace my license. That took pretty much the whole day because I went to the tax office, waited for part of the day. And when I finally got through, they said that um, I cannot collect my license because I have an outstanding ticket. So I was like, I do not have an outstanding ticket. I paid all my tickets. So, which is literally two. So anyway, they're like, um, well then you need to go down to the tax authority and figure it out with them. So I was like, after all this time, I've been legit in here for like about two hours and I must now go down. All right. I was like, okay, lady. All right, cool. So I got on to tax the authority, tax authority. And they're like, you have a ticket outstanding. So I'm like, no, I do not. And then they're, they show me the ticket. I'm like, I paid that ticket online. And they're like, who you paid it to? So I'm like, I paid it to Taxo Express. Only to find out that Taxo Express scammed me out of 5,700 Jamaican dollars. Apparently it was never paid. 
um, try to reach out to Taxi Express, apparently they are permanently closed. And apparently the persons down at the tax the tax authority, they were telling me, this is from 2022, guys. So imagine my getting a transaction confirmation notice from my bank to say that, yes, this money has been transferred to said account, Tax Express. And then now it just had not been paid to the Jamaican government. So I've been walking around with this unpaid ticket. So I didn't know about it. So now I went down to the tax authority and now I have a court date. They have to go sort this out. I'm so annoyed. I'm very annoyed. But anyway, um, it's going to get started. Um, finally got back my, my life together today. I joined summer class for the first time. I tried it in heels. Girl, I wasn't picking up my feet enough barefoot. And now I understand why Inez kept repeating, pick up your feet, pick up your feet. I'm just like, Miss Lady, if I pick up my feet, I'll be on the floor. And then today I did this. But one of the things I wanted to say today, this is going to be a short vlog today. One of the things I'm going to just kind of talk and then I'm just going to drop the clips, clips after clips. And then you guys can ask questions, but it's going to be a very short vlog, vlog today. But one of the things I loved about today's session is that we did a particular drill that helped me with picking up my feet. Um, and one of the things that she had taught us earlier on as well, not in today's class, but she taught us that um, counting helps with controlling the body. Which I mean, I've been a dance teacher for years, but it never occurred to me that, hey, count, I mean, I mean, I always knew, but you know, when something just kind of connects, <laughs> so it's like, I was like, oh shoot, what, counting these particular samba steps um, and doing the drill in this way, it really helped me to pick up my feet and to do today's session, at least to my satisfaction. I felt like I got somewhere today. I've been building up anxiety because I just keep thinking, oh my goodness, I don't know what she's going to throw at us next. I just feel like quitting. And I go online and I see all these samba dancers who've been dancing for five years, 10 years, since them drop out of their mother belly. Um, and then I have to be practicing in a virtual classroom. Sometimes I can barely hear the music. Um, sometimes the network skips, so I, like I'm offbeat, and then when it comes back, everybody's like on a different beat, and I'm just like, what do I do? <laughs> it's difficult. It's so difficult, and so practicing by yourself is extremely important. But you know, I just counted, I counted, I counted. I was like, okay, Chrissy, and then today, I don't know where I found it, but I dug deep, and I just like, Chrissy, do this, Chrissy, you've got this. Come on, pick up your legs, girl. Pick up. I was dying, and I was just like, you know what? I don't care what they're doing on screen. I've already watched what they're doing. I understand the count. I'm not gonna let the network dropping out cause me to not catch the beat. And I was like, all right, Chris, do it. You can do it. Just count it in your head. Just do it off beat. Cause there's, I couldn't hear the music. I couldn't hear the music. So I was like, all right, let's go. Three, two, one, and one, two. The end is, I'm gonna show you these now. So you, what you'll see is the drills. And then I'll just go into when I was practicing and then I'll kind of give you a little, alert as to where I kind of picked up the pace. I was just like, Chris, get out of your head, get into your body. Oh, the 30 days to sensuality challenge is upcoming. And I do want all of my beautiful ladies to join me. Um, we've had three 30 day challenges. No, sorry, I'm a liar. Uh, we've had one 30 day challenge so far. We're currently on the second cycle, the second week of the second cycle of the 30 day program, all themed empowered woman challenge. Um, the third and final one starts October 28th. I'm going to drop a link below so that you can sign up. It's going to be a wonderful, 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 wonderful event. We're going to have light energy healing. We're going to have chakra healing. We're going to have, of course, sexy sensual dancing in heels. Um, and the list goes on. I'm going to drop all the insights. Once you sign up for the program, uh, sign up for my email list. There you go on my website and sign on to my mailing list. You'll get all the updates. All right, ladies. So see you all later. Enjoy your weekend. 30 Days of Sensuality coming up. Samba 2025, Brazil, Carnival, Rio, Janeiro. Here I go. We got this.